You just know it's going to be a good Pepper Cat Keith video when it's got an Articat in it. Oh yeah, it's Articat season just about. So, it is Tuesday and we're at my uncle's house. We're finally back at the trailer. I've been working off the past couple days and I'll give you guys a quick little hand update. My hand's actually doing really well. Uh, I thought it would have been a lot worse than what's been going on. I've uh, re-split myself open three times now and it hasn't been a good process went through quite a bit of stitches trying to get that going and it kept on breaking and the liquid ones weren't sealing right so finally starting to heal up actually had a good chunk of uh, muscle slash tissue slash uh, I don't know what the hell you want to call it but it was popping out and stuff like that it wasn't good but anyway I've been on slow movement for the past couple days and uh, so for slow movement I work on the air cats so, uh, this video is going to be an Articat video, and uh, it's going to be a sad one slash good one. So, over the weekend I have sold the ZR700. Uh, it is going to a new owner, I believe within the next couple days, he's already paid for it. And now he just needs to pick it up. So, what I've been doing, I've been just going over it. I uh, got done pulling off my power mats, my two hand guards, the uh, two bags I had and the uh actually the window actually fell right off and i was doing that so i've been doing that and uh yeah sold for 1650 which isn't too bad i actually just did the calculations since i've owned it since uh two years ago almost a couple of months ago about two two years plus uh i've owned it i put on 600 miles on the sled and uh not too bad but you want to know something wild i've had this sled here shorter this is my 04 Sabercat 700 EXT and I've had this one for all, just one year now and that one I've put on 1500 miles <laughs> go figure so go to, so that just goes to show you what a better machine is you know versus the carbureted slash non-reverse slash short track slash uh, very hard suspension <laughs> those to a skinny person so anyway I've been playing this thing up today getting it ready for the new owner Oop, I locked the hood actually, just had to fire it up. Show sure you guys the inside. Last time you guys will be seeing it, unfortunately. But it's a very clean sled. I've always been keeping this thing in tip top shape. You guys all know that. And this beautiful friggin' track I put on it. Oh, yeah, damn thing is like brand new still. Kimpex Ultimate Traction Track with the Max Studs. Ooh, that'll do some damage to your wallet and to the trail itself. But just been pulling some parts off of it. I had to pull my uh, bags off, I was saying, and my power mads are back there, the green guys. Keeping those because, well, those two things are worth of almost 200 bucks. Go figure. And it's funny because we, me and PJ were going to do a Thanksgiving Day snowmobile startup video, and that just went to a complete failure because, well, We've already been starting them up. <laughs> we were going to do like a thing like what Beavis Butthead 9 does on his Thanksgiving. He fires up all of his friggin' millions of sleds that he has. And we were going to do the same thing, but we're kind of sort of down one sled. I had to fire this thing up. This one did pretty good. Not too bad. Did eight poles, and the tank is damn near dry. Fuel tank. Uh, this is EFI, so two clicks. That one there caught on fire over the winter, so we can't really do much with it. Ah, uh, yeah. That was quite the show. And yeah. But, that's what's going on. If you guys are new to the videos, uh, that's my old snowmobile extra just getting sewn. And underneath here is my 04 Sabercat. Let's see if I can't get the cover off. Yeah. My Sabercat's underneath here. Gotta replace the windshield on it in the next couple of months here. And this is the long track. This is not a short track. This has a 144 inch track on it. So, and this is my uncle's 94 Articat Wildcat. And he ended up buying a brand new snowmobile actually this year. He bought a 2013 Articat Bearcat uh, XT Limited with a 20 inch wide track, 154 inch. Long things a friggin' size of a small car. <laughs> Go figure. But overall looking pretty good and I'll show you guys some of the trailer too. 
I've been undercoating it. Well, not really undercoating it. I used a special kind of paint for it. As you can see, the whole underside of it's been scraped, power washed, scraped again, power washed again, and repainted with this stuff. This is like a regular house paint that I put on it, but it's actually specifically made for metal. It's not Rust-Oleum. The can I used was uh, almost 50 bucks a can. I had to use two cans of it. I'll show you guys what I used. As you can see, she's all clean now, no more rusties. Go around on this side over here. Oh yeah, there's some other snowmobiles. Wax that side, gotta still do the other one. Looking pretty good, paw wash the inside, the whole trailer on the outside. Uh, for those of you that are also new, this is my snowmobile trailer. I bought it last year. Uh, on October 31st, the only reason why I remember that because it was Halloween night and we almost ran over a trick-or-treater. Go figure. Uh, and, yeah, I paid $3,500 for it, I do believe. And uh, this is the paint here that I use. Benjamin Moore deals. High performance. It adds like 5 horsepower or something like that. Uh -huh. Not really. So I used that, and I was just actually digging through this bin here, and I actually found the original uh, tag that was on my Articat ZR700 here, which is that one. And a lot of you guys don't know how I got this sled. I never really quite told the whole story. I got this sled actually damn near basically for free. Um, I traded a my old DLT ride-on mower with the bagger and dump cart. Had the 20 horsepower Cola Pro V twin engine in it, and I also traded in my old uh, 95 Articat Jag Deluxe, and that's how I got that. So I basically got this sled for free, and then put a $700 track on it. Cha Ching, hit, <laughs> go figure. So yeah, but we'll be getting this one in the shop here uh, probably in the next two three months. I gotta set this thing up uh, for the right suspension. Because I'm not riding this one no more. I actually got a new surprise coming. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Uh, I got to set this up for my dad's weight. This is set up for my weight. My dad's almost 150 pounds more heavier than me. So he's a big guy. So we got to set this thing up. So he ain't going to be bottoming out. I got to replace the windshield. Replace some of the studs on the track. Because they're done. And a few other little oddball stuff. And I got to get the inside of this cleaned out. Getting kind of grimy so... Yeah, but you lose an Articat, and you're going to gain an Articat. So like I was saying, you sell a sled, you buy a sled. No, no, we're not talking about that one. We're talking about this one. Oh, yeah. 2013 Articat XF 800 Snow Pro Limited. Just picked it up from the dealership over the weekend, guys. Brand new. Only has one minute of runtime on it. Pretty good looking, huh? I would say so. Worked pretty hard for this thing over the summer. I've been saying all summer. I'm working hard for two things. New Articat snowmobile. And a nice new Ford F-150 pickup truck. But only pre-owned for me. Couldn't get a new one. Too expensive. But I did get a new Articat. <laughs> so this is the... 2013 Articat XF 800 Snow Pro Limited. Uh, this thing is awesome. Picked it up from the dealership last Friday. Um, I got this thing for uh, 10.9. I got it for it was a leftover unit because the 14s are out, and uh, I didn't like the 14s because of the track. Um, I was gonna get a 2014 sled. I was gonna get the one in the orange, but. The new 14s only have a 134 inch track on them, or 137 inch track, and I wanted the 141 inch track. So it was really hard to do it, and they only came in the Snow Pro High Countries, and that's just a ridiculous sled. It doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have any, uh, any of the features that I wanted, which is electric start reverse, uh, trail seat, uh, thinner lug paddle, and a few other oddball stuff. So the 13 was a better pick for me. It wasn't the money factor, it was the sled pick. So, they had uh, 
one of these left in stock. They had one black and one white, and I seem to have liked the white one better. The black one didn't quite really pop out as much, um, but you know, it is what it is. It's you know, it's not a four stroke. I don't really like the four stroke models uh, just because I'm a two stroke guy and I like my smoky two strokes. Uh, I almost bought a 20. This was a 2013 uh, Articat. Actually, I almost bought two sleds at the dealership. Uh, there was a 2013 Articat Cross Tour Orange 1100. Uh, it was a non-turbo, but it wasn't really that special looking. It was orange. It, you know, it just wasn't me. Um, they wanted 95 for that one, 9,500, and that was brand new. It had uh, like two minutes of runtime on it. That was on the showroom floor. And uh, the other one was a 2013 Articat F1100 Turbo Snow Pro Limited. Uh, but the turbo would have been cool, but it was a short track, and I didn't want a short track. Those only have the 121s on them, so I figured I think the XF is the best choice for me. So this is what I got, XF800 Snow Pro Limited, white. Definitely stands out from all of the sluts, in my opinion. And I know you used to do guys and pliers guys are like, oh, you should get that. Yeah, I looked at those pliers. Uh, I can't think of what the hell they're called, but I looked at the pliers ones, and they just looked uncomfortable. And the skidoos, no thank you. <laughs> so this does have the Fox Flow 2 shocks all the way around. Uh, got the Fox floating over here, here, as you can see, the one coil over spring. So overall, these things here are extremely sharp. I already cut myself on it once on my thumb here. Where is it? Right there. Sliced myself open. And when we were driving home, it actually sliced. We had a strap going through the rear here, and it sliced it right open on those Home Depot track on those Home Depot uh, units. So overall, great looking sled. Got a little goodie bag in the back. I'm gonna be doing some modifications to it. Uh, definitely gonna be doing a pipe in the near future. Can. Uh, that seat's coming off. I'm gonna sell that seat and put a 2014 seat on it because it's more comfortable and more softer. Uh, shocks are gonna get revalved slash reworked. I'm gonna send those to Speedworks. Have the evolves on them. The float evolves on them. It's like a 300, 350 dollar upgrade. You send them these shocks. They take all these components out and they put their good components in. I guess I'm not really sure how it works, but that's gonna get done. Uh, gonna smoke out the front headlight. Don't really like the too too bright. I think it'll look good a little smoked. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of a higher windshield. I know not everyone's going to agree with me on that one. It looks good without it. But i got to go up a little bit. I've already adjusted the handlebar. It usually sticks straight up here. and It's like somewhere up here, but it's just too uncomfortable for me. Uh, so, yeah. I just got a little goggle bag here. I think the keys are in it. Could fire this bad boy up. Ow. Hand is cramped up. Good stuff. Smoky two-stroke. Gotta love it. So yeah, uh, this is the new sled. Uh, the weird, the cool part slash weird part about this is, is when you go in uh, reverse, the engine actually shuts off and it spins the engine in the reverse direction so you can drive in reverse. It's pretty cool. Here, I'll actually fire it up for you guys. <coughs> oh, Jesus, choked him out. It's alive. <coughs> Pretty cool, and uh, it tells you the time up on the display here. Um, actually, just noticed it must have rolled over onto two minutes now. <laughs> Go figure. But uh, yeah, pretty slick looking sled. Uh, 
Well, that, that's about it. Oh yeah, I gotta change these stupid things out. Check this out. Plastic friggin' mouse. I like. What? <coughs> oh, holy cow! It's not the two stroke guys. It's, I just choked on a little bit of water. Um, but yeah, these things here. Just uh, I don't know. Not me. So I gotta get the metal mounts because these things will be flopping all the way around and stuff like that. So that's gonna get changed too. And uh, there's also a little bit of a situation with that track here. Uh, let's see if you guys can figure out what happened here. Um, can you pick it out? Yeah. Stud length is not the right length at all. Uh, big, big screw up along the lines of the dealership slash uh, stud dealership slash warehouse slash it's just a big old cluster fuck and uh, yeah I paid five hundred and yeah I paid five hundred and sixty dollars to have this track studded uh, with the double plates right now this is that's the half point right there where they did it but all the way across it looks like this you get the two shorties dually dually inner ones and then it goes like that and to do all this, it was 560 bucks, and they ended up putting the wrong studs on. Uh, I was supposed to get the Max Stud Invaders, and they put the Max Stud uh, Mega Studs on. So all these have to come undone. All, I think he said there's 169 of them on here. Yeah, or 170 rather, because it's an even number, or 168, something like that. But they all have to come off. Um, so that's the big deal. Right now, I have to find out if the dealership's taking it back, or if I'm doing it, or what the deal is, because it is just a big mess up on uh, the dealership's problem there. Because I requested for a certain stud, and they put this other bullshit on, and it's clearly not the right one. And you're probably going like, what's wrong with it, Keith? Well, a normal stud, yeah, actually, I can show you on PJ's track. A normal stud sticks up. Just about a quarter of an inch. As you can see on my phone here, that's roughly about an eighth of an inch. And you can imagine this is an O2 uh, Z440. And the studs obviously have some wear on it. Now if you come over to this one. This thing here is completely flush. I can run my phone right over it just about off. It's actually supposed to be sticking up almost right about where my finger is. It's supposed to be a true two inch stud. Uh, this is a one half inch track on there, one half inch Cobra paddle track. So yeah, all those have to come off, unfortunately. So either the dealership's gonna take some money off, which I'm hoping for like 200 bucks, woohoo, or uh, I or it's gonna go back to the dealership. The states. Sorry about that, guys. The camera times out after nine minutes, but yeah, big old mess up, I'll say. Big, big mess up, but overall, nice sled pro cross chassis. As you can see, it's even embedded. You know, worked hard all summer for it, and I like my toys. So, yeah, looks pretty sharp, I'll say. Very, very easy sled to catwalk because we catwalked it completely, damn near right up on the back of PJ's truck, sitting outside there. And uh, where's the other problem? Oh yeah, it's actually pretty easy to tip too. Like you hop dead center on here and you can just literally whoop whoop back and forth no problem. Which is pretty cool. And it's got a little spot for a GPS too. Right there. So it's pretty slick shit. Uh, I gotta do a couple of like, a, like I said, a couple of other things I gotta get done. Um, the other thing is I gotta wire this thing for, for my helmet heat shield. And... Yeah, this, this is going to be a lot that's going to get done over the winter. Not a whole lot this year, probably next year. But there'll be quite a few stuff. And I'm still waiting on my cover. Uh, the dealership had to order up a cover for me. So hopefully that will be in with the next couple of weeks as well. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. Whole mess of stuff. And actually, uh, this slut here is actually going to be on display at a snowmobile show. Come December something or other. Up in New Hampshire. It's going to be displayed at the Max Stud dealership snow show or something like that, but check it out. Sold, keep them tall. Looks like 800 Snow Pro. And uh, no, my mommy and dad. Sorry guys, right out of memory on my other camera there, so we'll use the iPhone. But yeah, no, my parents didn't buy me this. I'm making the monthly payments. They're about 110 bucks a month for three years. I just put, uh, I think it was like seven, seven or eight grand down. 
So that's a good chunk of change there, but yeah, so me and Michael have two brand new sleds this winter. I have myself a brand new Articat XF800 GoPro Limited, and he's got himself a nice new shiny new Bearcat XTZ1 Limited things freaking the size of a small car. <laughs> it seats three people, so that's a pretty big sled, and he picks that up in November. So, we'll get some footage of that, but hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, look at that. New toy slash project slash awesomeness. See ya.